We're embarking on a project that allows data-driven physics simulations in a lot of different domains. Uh, computation fluid dynamics over airfoils, supersonic jets, um, engine combustion, the high turbulence in those. Uh, we're doing material science simulations. We have health researchers who are interested in modeling the heart and the blood flow through the heart and the blood through the artery and to the lungs in a patient specific area um, rather than you know, a generic structure. It's really the patient's heart and aorta. For high resolution detail of all of these simulations, uh, we need a vast amount of compute power. And, and the idea is, you know, more cores, more GPUs throw at the problem so the technology does not get in the way of doing the simulations. And so we're, we're figuring out ways how to merge the CPU capabilities with the GPUs and, and get them to work together in a machine learning type environment so that the technology enhances the solution rather than getting away of the solution. So a lot of the code that, that we're using now, uh, they're custom built by the researchers themselves, focus mostly on the CPU. And so we're, we're working with them now to use OpenACC to quickly port their code over to the GPU without having to learn the CUDA environment and the complications that entails. The impact is in the future in these airfoils, how to increase the efficiency of these engines, the efficiency of these airplanes. You know, those are long term, five, 10 years away. The heart problem is an immediate. This particular researcher, Alberto Figueroa, um, has combined his surgery along with the simulation modeling to figure out exactly what he needs to do when he needs to, to get into open heart surgery and make adjustments to the arteries that are going to the, to the lungs to maximize the amount of oxygenation that the patient can get out of that.